I've got good news for owners of Polestar and Volvo electric vehicles. That's because as of today, Volvo and Polestar EVs can access Tesla superchargers. They join Ford, Rivian, and GM, increasing the number of automakers that have supercharger access to five. With more to come, let's get into it. Okay, so as I said, it is a very good day for owners of Volvo and Polestar electric vehicles because you gain access to a little less than 18,000 Tesla superchargers. Of course, you need an adapter, and we'll get into adapters a little bit later. But first, I just want to talk about the whole uh, transition to the North American charging standard from where we are today for those that don't understand exactly what's happening. So Tesla has their own connector. This is what it looks like here, and it's good for both AC and DC fast charging. AC charging is what you would do home on a charger like this, and DC charging is what you do on the road with DC fast chargers. Tesla calls them superchargers, but some of the other networks like Electrify America or EVgo just call them DC fast chargers. So Tesla has this plug. All of the other manufacturers that make and sell electric vehicles in North America, including Volvo and Polestar, use this connector. It's called the J1772 for AC charging. AC is your lower powered home charging. And they all use this connector here, which is called the CCS1 connector for DC fast charging. Now I say all of them. There's a couple electric vehicles that actually use a different standard for DC fast charging. They use a connector called the Chatamo connector. The Nissan Leaf is the biggest one of them, but that standard's being phased out in North America. But so are the connectors that current Volvos use, the J1772 and CCS1. They're being phased out in light of the Tesla connector here, which we're now calling the North American charging standard, or NACS for short, N-A-C-S, or the J3400. That's actually the proper term for it, the J3400 connector. But a lot of people call it the NACS, and I like to people to understand what I'm talking about when I do these videos. Okay, so you have a current Volvo or Polestar, and now the supercharger network is open to you. There's a couple things you need to know about it. First of all, you're gonna need an adapter. And what both Volvo and Polestar are gonna do is, for all of their new EVs sold in 2025, their 2025 electric vehicles, they're gonna include an adapter with the car. So you're gonna get that for free. Well, not for free, you're gonna pay for it, but uh, they're gonna say they give it to you for free. If you have a current Volvo or Polestar and you want to charge on the Tesla supercharger network, you have to buy an adapter. Both companies are selling them for $230. You could order it through your dealership. And chances are you're gonna get this adapter here. I don't know if Volvo and Polestar are gonna do what General Motors did and also use third-party adapters. Like for instance, they use this, uh, they also sell the Electron adapter. Any of these adapters will work. There's a few of them on the market. Some of them are very poorly made and I wouldn't recommend you going online and finding the cheapest NAX to CCS1 adapter because that's what they're called. These are the three adapters that I endorse. The one that's made by Tesla, the uh, A to Z Typhoon Pro and the Electron Vortex adapter. I think these are honestly the best ones that are on the market today and I actually have coupon codes state of charge where you can get 15% off if you buy either the A to Z Typhoon Pro or the Electron Vortex. Uh, but if you order through your dealership, you're gonna pay uh, $230 and chances are you'll get this adapter here. Volvo and Polestar are both gonna start shipping these adapters on November 18th. So within a couple of weeks, they are gonna begin shipping them. Now, some of the other automakers like Ford and General Motors, for instance, had so many of them that their customers ordered, they're back ordered. Some people that ordered the adapter from Ford in May haven't received it yet uh, because Tesla's the only company making the official adapter. They can't make them fast enough. So that's a problem with uh, this. I don't know how quickly Volvo and Polestar are gonna get you your adapter. It might take a while. I know Electron and uh, A to Z are both shipping them 
currently, you know, there's a very short waiting period, but th that's up to you which adapter you, you buy. I have a bunch of videos here on State of Charge that explain the whole adapter situation, why Tesla wants you to use just their adapter on the network. But some things are, I think are going to change with that soon once UL certification comes out. Currently, none of these adapters are UL certified because there wasn't a proper UL certification protocol. That's being finalized now, and then all the companies are going to submit them for UL certification, and then we'll see which ones get certified and which ones don't. But as of now, no charging adapters are actually UL listed. Okay, so what does this mean for existing owners? So if you have a Volvo EX90, EX40, or EC40, now the last two, the EX40 and the EC40, there, there's new names for those. Those were previously called the, the XC40 Recharge and the C40 Recharge, but Volvo changed their way they named the electric vehicles. So those are the same vehicles. If you have a XC40 Recharge, you might say, what's this EX40? That's what your car is being called now. You have access right now to the Tesla Supercharger Network. You just need an adapter and you can use one of up to it's close to 18,000 superchargers that uh, you can access. Now you can't access all of them. State of Charge is powered by Qmerit. After I help you decide which electric vehicle charger you're going to buy, follow the link in the description of my videos and have the installation professionals at Qmerit install it. And by following the link, Qmer will waive the $200 on-site inspection fee. But in order to have that fee waived, you have to follow the link in the description of my videos. It has to be V3 supercharger or later, because Tesla has superchargers called V2. Those are the older ones. And they're not compatible with the software that your vehicle has, so you, you wouldn't be able to use those. So how do you know which superchargers you can use? The in-car navigation, the Google Maps that are native in Volvos and Polestars will, are being updated to include the Tesla superchargers that you can use. It'll filter out the ones that uh, your vehicles are not compatible with. You can also download the Tesla app and the Tesla app you put in the car that you have and it will only show you the superchargers that you can go to. And if you think you're going to frequently use Tesla superchargers, it might be a good idea to download the Tesla app and have a membership. I think it costs $11 a month. It might have changed it, but I think it's $11 a month. And when you do that, you get a big discount on the cost to supercharge. So if you were to supercharge more than once a month at a Tesla supercharger, it's probably financially prudent to download the Tesla app have the membership, and activate your charging sessions through the Tesla app rather than through your Volvo or Polestar because you'll save some money. And that's probably the best way to do it. And I also have a quote here from Anders Gustafsson. He's the head of Polestar North America. He said, by offering access to Tesla Supercharger Network, we are able to provide owners with more charging options than ever before, elevating the Polestar ownership experience with more efficient charging convenience and capabilities. With the adoption of this standard, in combination with approximately 10,000 CCS DC fast chargers, current and prospective Polestar customers now have access to nearly 27,800 DC fast chargers and can feel more confident in their ability to charge on the go. And just like all of the other OEMs here in North America, Volvo and Polestar will be adding native J3400 inlets into their vehicles gradually. Not all of the vehicles in 2025 are gonna have them. It's gonna be sort of a gradual thing as new EVs are introduced and as they update existing electric vehicles, they'll add the native NAX port. And the Polestar vehicles that will be able to use the Tesla superchargers currently are the Polestar 2 sedan and the Polestar 3 crossover, as well as the upcoming Polestar 4. All those vehicles will have access to all the Tesla superchargers in addition to the CCS chargers that are available out there today. And just like the other OEMs here in North America, Volvo and Polestar will be transitioning to installing native J3400 inlets in their vehicles beginning in 2025. 
all of the vehicles won't be NAX compatible in 2025, they're gonna gradually install them in new models. And as they refresh existing models, they'll have the NAX port. It's not gonna be like, okay, in 2025, all Polestar and Volvo vehicles are going to have a native NAX port. This is going to be a gradual roll-in for the next uh, few years. And you may have noticed that I didn't mention the EX30 when I was talking about Volvo. The highly anticipated smaller electric Volvo that's currently only available in Canada here in North America. It's not available in the U.S. And that's because of the tariffs that were placed on Chinese-made electric vehicles here in the U.S. The tariff would make the EX30 so expensive, Volvo decided not to import it yet at least. They're still figuring out exactly what they're going to do. They're going to bring it to the U.S. eventually, but it's kind of on hold now. So they haven't announced what their policy is going to be with regards to giving the adapter away. I assume it'll be the same with the other vehicles. Once it's available here, they're going to give it to customers that purchase a new vehicle. But uh, it was interesting that in the press release, they specifically said, we will let you know how we're going to deal with EX30 customers when the time comes that we import it. So um, that's going to be interesting to see if uh, they, for some reason, exclude it from the EX30. Maybe they make customers pay for it because it's the entry-level EV and it's going to be the least expensive one. Uh, but again, as I said, we really don't know. That. I'm just speculating here. Uh, it's not available here in uh, the U.S. yet. Uh, and I actually had a deposit on one. I wanted to get one. But uh, when Volvo said, look, we're postponing bringing it in because of these tariffs, I canceled my deposit and I got the Chevy Equinox EV, which I'm very happy with. Okay, well, I don't have anything else on the news that Volvo and Polestar have Tesla Supercharger access now. In the past, I had worked directly with uh, the first three automakers that got access. I wasn't able to uh, get that inside information from Volvo or Polestar. I just got the basic uh, press release that everybody got. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get uh, my hands on a Volvo or Polestar soon and head to a supercharger, test it out, make sure everything works, try out all the adapters. I'm sure they're all going to work. These are pass-through adapters. So there's really nothing that would make it not work with, this, with a certain electric vehicle. They'll work on all electric vehicles because neither the vehicle nor the charging station actually knows there's adapter in the middle of the two. So it's really not like um, it's not going to work. If it works on one EV, it'll work on the other EV. And uh, if you do own a Polestar or a Volvo and you don't want to wait for Volvo or Polestar to uh, ship you the one that you pay for, $230, you can get either the A to Z Typhoon Pro or the Electron Vortex directly from their websites. And if you use the state of charge coupon code, you get 15% off. And that brings the price down to, I think like $170 or $175. They may have adjusted the prices recently. But there's one thing I need to note, the A to Z state of charge coupon code is only good through November 15th and then it drops down to 5%. But the Electron coupon code of 15%, I believe is gonna hold for a little bit longer. So, you know, if you can't wait to get the official adapter shipped to you from Volvo or Polestar, you want supercharger access now, I tell you, it's very liberating on road trips with my Rivian or my Lightning and the Equinox now. It's great to have the ability to use either a uh, CCS1 DC fast charger or a Tesla supercharger. You know, there's so many Tesla supercharger sites out there. You just have to make sure you pull into the right one. You don't go to a V2. So definitely use your in-car navigation that uh, a Volvo and Polestar say they're gonna update to make sure it filters out the stations you can't use or just use the Tesla app. I found that to be the most accurate currently because well, it's Tesla's network. So they kind of know which stations you can use and which ones you can't. And if you're, again, if you're going to use the Supercharger Network frequently, get their membership because you'll save yourself some money. All right, well, that's all I have here today. If this is your first time here at State of Charge, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.